What's up guys, it's all here and today I'm gonna show you how to play Talia mid and I'm playing against Akali. Let's start with the run screen and Q first. So playing with Electrocute, Taste of Blood is good for trading, you get additional sustain on lane, additional damage, Ravenous Hunter heals you nicely with Talia's Q. Presence of Mind grants you mana and Talia is mana hungry and additional damage. So let's get to her skill explanation. On passive Talia gains 20% movement speed by running near walls. And it only occurs out of combat, so like this. The animation begins and you are moving faster, so Talia is a roaming champion, her laning got nerfed so hard that it's better focusing on just picking up kills by roaming bot or something. As for the Q, you have 5 rocks in a direction, each dealing magic damage. Subsequent hits on the same enemy deal 50% reduced damage and you create a zone in which if you cast Q again in the short duration, you will only cast one Q. So that's bad. You want to avoid these places and just cast Q from different sides. So that way you are efficient. See like this circles I will only hit one. And here, yeah. So just to show you an example. So basically when being in that circle area you are only able to hurl one rock and pay attention to your Q icon because it will change while stepping on that circle. As you probably noticed few moments ago. Okay. Also nice poke. And yeah your Q collides with minions so it's not that easy. You want to wait till your enemy steps on the E. So, upon casting E you deal damage and then you have to wait 4 seconds until your E detonates. by Q Max. So that's a disengaging combo. With your W you need to hold and then release in the right direction. I'm gonna save W in case the jungler comes now. No, he's not there. So yeah. You hold like this and then you release and this decides the direction of the knockup on your enemy it's not dealing much damage but it's good to reposition your enemy and actually that way you can outplay it's worth casting your E and then casting W into your E so your enemy will take additional damage will get slowed and yeah, and walking next to the turrets inhibitors. So any structures or walls, you are gaining that movement speed on the passive as well. Okay, and then you need to wait two seconds after the combat to activate the passive again. Okay. Tricky matchup that gets harder at level 6. So, usually, when there's an enemy around, it's worth saving your E so that upon disengaging, you can instantly damage. This time she didn't get hit and I took so much damage, but listen, is coming. <laughs> you are not able because of the wave. Also, you have to keep in mind that most of the times your enemy is stronger than you at level 6, 
since your ultimate is not dealing damage. So this is the ultimate, I used it once, I didn't have enough damage and mana to finish off Akali, so I'll just use this as a disengaging option. So how does it work? You can ride this wall, but you have to press your OT twice, right after casting you have to do an additional cast. And if you just want to, you know, knock up enemies, make them stuck in certain place or something, you press your OT once and it works like this, you could see. But your ultimate is a great tool to roam, you can cast your OT, make sure that you cut the escape first. Ooh. Bye. Talia can be difficult. Jelly, she's not in the best spot. There are many other mid laners that can do things easier. If you are good with her, you can still carry, but you know. And yeah, it's really worth ganking bot lane. I don't have my ult yet, but I'm gonna try unless my ally dies. Yeah. This game will be really hard to carry because Pike and Jinx can snowball so hard. Okay. I expected that. <laughs> Get wrecked. So you have to predict your enemy movement. It's really tricky. Then Emax second. Yeah, this time to disengage. Ooh. Bye. You can reactivate your OT to end the effect of the wall earlier. This is something like Jarvan's ultimate. Make sure that you don't make your allies stuck in a bad spot or something. The range of your ultimate increases with rank of disability. From 3000 to 6000. Listen. Okay. Let's go. He's trying hard. Drake.
Okay. And instantly other Kali, make sure that you move and activate your passive. Where is she? Hey. Hey, what was that flash for, dude? I would like that blue buff. Thanks. Irelia, I thought that she would thank that for me. This item is good for Talia, provides the slow, much better than Ludens and cheaper option. I died. Okay, let's go at her. She survived. That's sad. Let's try again. Got her. Yes. Alex. Saved Caitlyn, but probably. Yeah, I saved myself as well. Okay. So you can protect your ally like this. Talia is really creative. Drake, Drake. on me. What were you trying? Come on. Oh, was an easy trick.
<laughs> I call it listen syndrome when you just I messed up so hard but I meant instead of doing the drag his only goal in the game is to insect someone Oh well. I need to stay with my team to see what is happening. It. Jinx is so fat at this point, it's really hard. I hate Pike. Just delete bike. <laughs> he came closer to die. You should be knocking minions with your W into your E to wave clear faster. She's still alive, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kha'Zix. My allies are not even focusing anything. Okay, we have lost the game, but thank you guys for watching. I hope that you learned something about Talia. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you next time.